Actually, you can easily identify the radius and the ulna of each animal species when you consider the degree of fusion or separation of the two bones, or the shape of the ulna, or lastly, the articular facets and the styloid processes of the distal extremity. In horse, the ulna is reduced and its lower two thirds is fused with the, with the shaft of the radius at the interosseous uh, space. The olecranon process is developed but not divided. The distal extremity of the radius has three straight articular facets. The radius has medial and lateral steroid processes. Meanwhile, in ruminants, the ulna is longer and partially fused with the radius at proximal and distal interosseous spaces. The allocranium process is prominent and divided. The distal extremity of the radius has three oblique articular facets and there are prominent medial and lateral steroid processes. In dog, the radius and ulna are well developed separate and they articulate with each other. The allocranium process is prominent and trified. The radius distal extremity is wider than the proximal extremity with a clear medial styloid process. The ulna is longer and has a clear lateral styloid process. Here are the catching points how to differentiate the radius and the ulna in dog and sheep.